Okay, let's talk about the two things here that everybody keeps asking me about. And it's regarding lenses. D series versus pre D, or what I call uh, pre D. And well, three things actually. And then like uh, AIP lenses. What's an AIP lens? What's a pre D lens? And also E series Nikkor. Uh, first thing, E-series Nikkor people say, oh, I found an E-series lens, like 135mm E-series or 50mm Pancake E-series. It's just a budget lens that Nikon made back in the 70s for a period of time. But the thing is, is that budget 1970s means today's awesome quality. So, uh, you know, uh, actually the Army used to make, like, budget uh, paramilitary stuff, like during the war. But like by today's standards, it's like, well, my God, you know, that's a tank. That's awesome. Same thing with Nikon. As far as anybody being worried, it's like, oh, it's a budget lens. Yeah, that's it's a budget lens from the 70s. That lens is still the tits. So don't worry about it. Uh, D series and pre D. D stands for distance. Okay. Now this is a pre D lens. There's a lot of uh, pre D lenses. Like most of the 60 millimeter f 2.8 macro lenses that I recommended are not marked D. They don't have a big D right here. And that's for distance. What the hell does it matter? Well, 98% it doesn't matter a damn bit. It is a distance calculation wherein the lens communicates to the camera, if you're using flash photography, the distance to the subject. And that helps in calculating more accurate flash output. Okay. Um, this is kind of important, but not really. About a tinker's dam important, which is like, you know, eh. It's like... Meh, eh, doesn't really matter. Distance calculation fed to the camera to tell the flash, if you're using a flash, it's like, hey, the uh, focus distance this lens says is X distance away, therefore I want you to adjust the flash output. So in some circumstances, about that much, uh, that will affect you getting the correct flash exposure. So the non-D lenses like this, which are autofocus, this is essentially a D-series lens, okay? Like the 60 millimeter non-D, it doesn't feed distance calculations um, to uh, the camera to tell the flash what the hell to do as far as output. Doesn't really matter in Tinker's Dam. Same stuff. Meh. AIP lenses. What the hell is an AIP lens? Well, prior to the autofocus ones, like prior to this, after, you know, AIS the manual focus lens, right? Okay. AIP lenses, like all current Zeiss and Voigtlanders, are essentially, even though they're modern lenses made today, they are exactly like an AIP lens. What the hell is that? It means it has CPU contacts to tell the camera what the hell is on the front of it, right here, because there's a CPU chip in there to tell the camera. It's like, okay, there's 105 millimeters sitting on the front of my ass, and it tells the camera what's on there. But it is an autofocus. So it is a manual focus lens, it's a transitional lens. However, those lenses are still made by Zeiss, and uh, they're still made by uh, Voigtlander, and a couple still by Nikon. AIP lenses, CPU lens that is still manual focus. So you got E series lenses, which are budget lenses, but it doesn't make a damn bit of difference. Because 1970s budget is still awesome quality. And pre-D lenses doesn't feed communication data to the camera to tell the flash what the hell the distance is for flash output calculus. And that's still, meh, eh, doesn't matter. And AIP is just a manual focus lens that has CPU contacts that tells the camera what the hell is on the front of it. So you don't actually have to on the back of the camera. It's like, this focal length lens is on the front of you. The camera goes, okay. It already knows that because there's a chip and a CPU contact back there, even though it is a manual focus lens. So that clears up what E-series is, pre-D lenses like this, and uh, yeah, budget E-series and AIP, okay? So I hope that clarifies things. So the next time you were looking, this is the question I get asked all the time. What about the, it's not marked a D, but it looks like a D. It's like, eh, same stuff, eh. There is a difference, but eh. Okay, bye.